well, uh, we have another question here. An area view of a stretch of road is shown in the diagram below. The road can be described by the function y equal to x squared plus 2 with x is greater or equal to 0. If the coordinates axis dotted line, uh, lines are uh, shown uh, are chosen as shown in the diagram, um, then it sits at, an, at a vantage point B03 and observes a car P traveling along the road. Now, uh, the function is there and at the diagram, and now uh, it is said that uh, calculate, uh, calculate the distance between uh, Beni and the car when the car is closest to Beni. So, what can we do here? Okay, I'm going to write here question, uh, question 9. Okay, uh, we have like the function y is given by, uh, um, excuse me, x squared plus 2. Obviously, x is greater or equal to zero. And then we also have the, the points where Benny is. Benny is the point is at the point zero three, and that's where she, she, he or she observing uh, the car approaching. Okay, uh, this is quite interesting question. How can we do this? Okay, uh, we don't know. Uh, this car is approaching. Okay, it's approaching. It was like say, somewhere here approaching. Now we want the distance that's going to be the closest. Okay, so uh, how can we do? Um, okay, let's say the closest distance is when p is the point x x y for instance. Okay, uh, p is the point. The coordinate of uh, the coordinates of um, of p is like. The coordinate of p is x y. Now we can sub in the value of y. Okay, so the coordinate of p uh, y is is simply x squared plus two. So it's like x squared plus two. Okay, so uh, we can work out the distance p b. Okay, uh, the distance p b is obtained by using uh, the distance formula. You know the distance formula uh, between two points. All right, so the, the distance between a b is like. Uh, uh, distance squared, let's just work out the distance squared would be um, uh, uh, x2 minus x1 to the power of 2 plus uh, x, excuse me, plus uh, y2 minus y1 to the power of 2, that's the distance squared. Okay, so therefore, um, uh, pb will be, pb squared will be. Uh, if I do uh, x here, if this is my x2 and that's my x1, so x minus zero, so this might be like x minus zero to the power of two, okay, plus uh, x squared plus two, the value of the y coordinates minus the y coordinate that this is three, so I'm gonna do uh, this minus three here, and then this will be um, x squared plus two, minus three, okay, to the power of two. And then this will be uh, x squared plus, and and that will be uh, uh, x squared minus one to the power of two, okay? And now uh, this will make like x squared plus x squared minus one times x squared minus one. So we can work out like this times that, this times that, and then this times that, and that times that, and that we make um, x squared plus x to the power of four, okay? X squared times x squared, x squared times negative one, negative x squared, negative one times x squared, negative x squared, negative one times negative one makes positive one. So I can write this in, uh, in ascending order of exponents, that can be like x to the power of four uh, minus, you know, uh, 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 x squared here and x squared, negative x squared cancel out, and then we have left with uh, negative x squared uh, plus one. So this is uh, the distance p b squared. Okay. Now we will obtain the minimum distance, the shortest distance, the closest distance is the minimum distance. That's uh, 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 the distance uh, p b. Now. Um, um, but here we work out PB squared. I don't want to work. I don't want to work out PB because we will have like squares and 
they, it won't really look nicer. I mean, it may give us a lot of work to do, but not that uh, the minimum, um, if we got, uh, if, if PB is the minimum, PB squared will also be minimum, okay? So uh, I can work out the minimum means that uh, uh, the derivative of the function, okay, is equal to zero. That's when we can have either minimum or maximum. In this case, minimum. So we're gonna say uh, we have like PB squared in terms of X, it's like the function is like PB squared X, which is X to the power of four. I wrote it as a function, okay? Because the only variable that you have here is X. Uh, X squared, X to the power of four, uh, plus x squared, uh, uh, no, minus x squared plus one. Uh, minus x squared plus one. Now let's work out the derivative of that. So p to b squared derivative. Okay, this will make what? Uh, you know, the, the derivative is like, is of the form on the right here. If we, we differentiate a x to the power of n derivative, this is like n times a times x to the power of n minus one. So over here, we're gonna write four times x to the power of three minus one minus two times x to the power of two minus one plus one derivative. So this would be like four x squared, okay, minus, 2x plus zero. Now, we say that the derivative must be set equal to zero. That's pb squared derivative. We're gonna set that equal to zero. So like 4x squared minus 2x equal to zero. Uh, we can take 2x as a common factor because you're like 4x squared to x there. We can take 2x as a common factor equal to zero. So in here will be a, 2x minus one. So uh, this implies that 2x equal to zero or uh, 2x minus one equal to zero. This means that x is equal to zero or 2x minus one, um, uh, 2x uh, minus one equal to, uh, to, to zero. So uh, if I move the negative one over, becomes like two x equal to one. Um, can just move uh, um, this there just a second. Uh, I have a feeling like I, I made oh yeah, yeah I made a mistake here. Yes, uh, one four we write four down and then it's gonna be four minus one, not three minus one. I meant to write four minus one here. Okay, it's four minus one there. Um, four minus one. And then, yes, and then x to the power of two. Yes, that's correct. So this is the power of three. And then uh, the power is three here. And then over here, we can take uh, two x, um, two x as a common factor, and then it's gonna be two x squared. Yes, minus one. So two x squared minus one. 2x1 minus 1 equal to 0, and 2x squared is equal to 1. Um, so uh, that makes x squared equal to a uh, half. Okay. Uh, you can just move it a little bit this way. Uh, um, x would be equal to a uh, half in the roots like that, okay? Um, plus minus, obviously, but we're gonna take positive. So, um, um, uh, we are going to now substitute this value of x uh, in the function, the function pb, pb squared. So, we sub it here, okay? So, this will be, uh, so, pb, so to find the, 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 the distance now, okay? This is gonna be like uh, to the power of four minus um, to the power of two and then plus one. So there we sub in uh, 
uh, square root of one over two, square root of one over two also. And then this will make what, um, uh, you know, this will make um, uh, one over four, okay, plus a half, plus one. And then uh, this sum here, or not plus, but minus a half, my apologies. Um, minus a half uh, plus one, and this is equal to three quarters, three quarter. That's um, P, B squared of X. Now we can work around PB if we square root both sides. Okay, we can square root here and then square root there. And that would be um, PB of X would be equal to square root of three over square root of four. Now, PB of X would be square root of three over two. So that's uh, uh, the shortest distance uh, unit. If we can find, check that in the calculator, uh, maybe what's that? A square root of three uh, um, over two, this is equal to uh, zero comma, uh, 86, 0, 87. So, P, B of X equal to 0 0.87 units. Thank you.